right now at five. A woman facing a judge and charges she preyed on an older man. His blood tested positive for alprazolam, a medication which he has never taken. Tonight, answering to the allegations, a man was drugged and robbed. And investigators say the crime actually happened last summer. But tonight she is in jail and CBS Force Joan Murray live on Pompano Beach tonight. Joan, this woman is accused of stealing tens of thousands of dollars in property from the victim. That's right, $73,000. Rudabay, I spoke to that victim over the phone. He is out of town. He told me he didn't have much to say about these charges. The woman, who is 26 years old, remains here at the North Broward Jail. Police say it took seven months to catch up with her. She was living with her boyfriend and his daughter in Aventura. Whitney Tolbert. Police say Whitney Tolbert was dating a man nearly three times her age, a man she's accused of drugging and robbing. She met this 73 year old, they say, at a Miami restaurant last summer. According to her arrest report, Tolbert showed up at his spacious Lighthouse Point home with a bottle of red wine. After a few sips, the man told police he passed out. And when he woke up 11 hours later, he had slurred speech. His Rolex, electronics, and the wine glass were gone, but they say they found residue of a sedative on the floor. His blood tested positive for alprazolam, a medication which he has never taken. After drinking some wine given to him by the defendant, she also has returned $29,600 worth of the victim's property to him. I also have some serious concerns about the safety of the community, especially our elderly population, who may be vulnerable to this young woman. We learned Tolbert is also fighting a child abuse charge out of Dade County. Tolbert's lawyer argued for a low bond so she could be free while she fights the drugging and robbery allegations. She started her own business being a personal trainer. She launched that uh, business in July. Um, while doing that, she made about eight, 800 to 1200 a month. She's currently pregnant right now, so her boyfriend, who is a club promoter out in South Beach, is uh, supporting the family. She does have some good defenses, which I just discussed with her, but I'm not going to get into right now because this is just strictly a probable cause hearing. It did not sway the judge who said bond at $165,000 and ordered Tolbert to stay away from the 73-year-old victim. So again, she has not posted bond just yet, and even when she gets out of here, she's going to have to face another judge in Dade County this month, that hearing scheduled on the child abuse charge, and the judge also asked DCF to look into her living conditions in Aventura. He's concerned about the daughter of her boyfriend and because of those past charges in Dade County. In Pompano Beach tonight, Joan Murray, CBS 4 News.